Hey guys, this is Forsaken Reality here, the 22nd episode of the Remnant tutorial series. In this episode, we're going to be working on our switching weapons, and we're also going to create an animation from our switch weapon, from our idle pose to make it look more like a, our remnant switching. So basically, you'll put your hands down and you'll switch your weapon like this, and it has a slight difference from the idle pose there. So without further ado, we will get into that. You'll notice that we don't have the animations actually set up properly for the pistol yet. We're going to do that in the next episode. In this episode, we're going to be dealing with just the switching of our weapon and the animation montage and the attaching and detaching on the slot. And in the next episode, we'll deal with creating some pistol animations. And the reason we don't have our melee weapon is because the melee weapon doesn't attach through the scroll wheel. It's attached through, if you're not aimed, you'll swing your weapon and it'll do a melee attack and we'll set that up after. So we'll get into that now. First thing we're going to want to do is move this project out of the way so we can get to our project. And we want to go to our project settings, input, and we're going to create an action mapping for next weapon. And this is going to be mouse wheel up. And we'll create a click the plus here and we'll create a second one here. Mouse wheel down so that it will run this if we do either of these. And now that we have that done, I'm just going to create the animation first. So we want to go into our rifle animations. And we're going to duplicate our rifle idle down. And we're going to call this rifle or just switch weapon. And we're going to make a couple of changes in here. First thing we're going to need to do is this is not the animation, it's just a single pose, which won't work. So in order to fix that, we're going to click our record button here. And it gives you a location, and we're just going to put it in our character animations for now. It's just going to be our actual switch weapon. So we put it in a different location in this one so that it doesn't make no issues. And right now it's recording. You can see right here, and we can just pause after a few seconds. I got 4.6 sec seconds recorded. So that will give us... We can now delete this switch, one that we just made. Or not the one we just made, but the one that before we just made. But now we have this new one that we just recorded that has frames. So the first thing we're going to want to do is get rid of all the frames beyond our 15th frame or 16th. It's fine. So now we'll just have this many frames. If you right click up here and you'll remove the frames. Now that we have this done, we'll want to right click, create animation montage, and this is going to be the switch weapon montage. And it's going to be one of my rifle animations. I'm going to make a montage folder in my rifle animations. I'm just going to put this in the montages folder. I'm just going to put this in the rifle animations. Let's name that to a pose. So now we have our switch animation montage with lots of frames. We're going to want to actually we'll create the notify after. Just gonna double check mine and make sure I have everything set up the way I want it to. Okay, so we're gonna want to go into our blueprints character and our master character for now. And we're gonna need a couple of new replicated events for our weapon. 
first one being, or actually, uh, we're going to want to go to our event graph, go to our spawn weapons, and uh, I ran into an issue that I only just noticed while we were sp while I was switching weapons that the clients are actually spawning more weapons than they should sometimes. So basically, the way to fix this is we need to delete all this. Put this up like that for now. Let's put it right there. We're going to rename this to Starting Weapon Inventory. I'm going to fill this array back up with our rifle, pistol, and knife in that order. So primary, secondary, and weapon. We're going to delete our master weapon reference. So we only have these now. Um, we're going to create another variable called weapon inventory. This is the inventory that gets created during while you're in game, and it's going to be a, a an array. And we're going to get our master weapon, and it's going to be an object reference, not a class reference, like our other one right here for our starting one. And we're going to leave this empty, and you'll notice that for this one we can't actually fill it out. It's because we're going to be creating it right here. So we're just going to add unique, which adds a unique instance of this spawn actor. And the array we're going to be adding it to is going to be our weapons array. Let's add this bond actor to the array. That's creating our weapon inventory. So that's looping through here, spawning the actor, and then it loops through again. It gets each weapon and spawn, and then it'll basically get our blueprints and put them in here. And from there, on complete, I'm going to drag out and get our equipped weapon and set that. And this is going to be changed to a replicated variable. We're going to set our primary, set our secondary, set our melee. These are all going to be replicated variables. So now these right now they're being set defaults. So we want to get our now that we loop through, we set our weapon inventory. Everything is set. When that's completed, we want to get our weapon inventory variable. Get a copy. And the first variable, which will be zero, zero. So you create an array. Zero is your first, and it goes one. So you get zero for your equipped weapon. And your equipped weapon will also be your primary. You start up the game. So zero is your quick weapon, and it's also your primary. For the secondary, we want to control C this, control V, get our first variable. And for our melee weapon, we'll control V again and get two. And that will set all of our references to each weapon. And then we want to grab our output node. And once it's complete, we want to be able to continue on to anything else that would run into our event graph after the spawn weapon. Uh, one more thing in here. We want to check if we have authority. Switch as authority. That will basically just allow us to know if our client has the authority to pass through here. We 
loops through array. I'm not going to rename that, but you can rename that the starting weapons if you wanted to. Spawns. Here's some of these hovers, bubbles, we don't have them. That's references to the equipped weapon, primary, secondary. You can always add more if you just added a more another starting weapon that you can edit. Archer area, whatever. Oh, we almost forgot one more thing. I had it in a, had it in a collapsed graph. So we want to get our primary weapon. Patch actor component. And from here, we will attach our primary weapon to our mesh. And to get our socket, we will drag out of our primary weapon. Nothing data. Break that. Get our animation or our socket detail, sorry. Break that. We'll close this back up. Stack that up there like that. And this is gonna put it in our weapon for our primary. And then we're just going to actually first I'm gonna snap the target. Snap to target. Keep that one relative. And I'm just gonna copy this and paste it twice more. And we're just gonna replace the primary on this one with our secondary. If you drag it over it like this, you can just change node. And we'll change it from primary, secondary, and melee. So now we're attaching our primary, secondary, and melee. But for our secondary, we're going to want our, our weapon on, on our secondary on our waist and our melee on our back. So that'll get our back slot for the melee weapon. So let's we'll straighten up this. Plug it in. And I'm actually going to select all of this except for the output node. Right click, collapse nodes. I'm just going to name that the attach weapons graph. Then we're going to attach our weapons to their default locations on spawn. That. Through that. Now we have our spawn weapons event. So we have our spawn weapons. It'll come in here. It'll spawn the actors. Add them all to the array as it's looping through. And when it's complete, it will come down here and set a reference to each of them. Each of these are replicated. And then it will attach them to the uh, defaults locations and 
quick run and we'll notice our weapon is missing and I had the same problem. So that's going to be a simple fix. Our melee weapon, I mean. So we'll go to items, weapons, melee. You'll notice your mesh for your knife is missing. Just so wanna go to your weapon mesh and make sure your mesh is set for your knife. And now when we click play, we'll have all of our weapons attached and every character will be able to see it. Everything is still replicated properly, but we have it done better this time. We're not spawning multiples. Now we have that done. I think I might actually pause the video. I didn't realize that was 15 minutes in. It's going to take me another 15, 20 minutes to do the switch weapon switching. So now we have our replication issues fixed and our montage. We created a montage. Actually, we're going to mean make a couple changes to that montage, which we'll do in our next video. So they're pretty, they're very quick ones when, we're, when we work on our switch weapon. Um, if you found this video helpful and want to see more, don't forget to hit the like subscribe button so you don't miss out on any new tutorial video uploads. If you have any questions, suggestions, or comments, feel free to leave those in the comments section below or join our community discord channel linked in the description. Thanks and I'll see you all in the next episode.